that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Old people are sweet until you realize most of them are racist. I thought that was a little weird, too. I can't believe you ordered champagne. No, no, it, it wasn't me. <laughs> Nate, this is all so romantic. Yeah, pretty much defies the odds of how perfect your first date can go, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Up with him. Whoa, 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 what? You broke up with him? Yeah. I thought he broke up. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Nate! What are you doing with my girlfriend? <laughs> Excuse me, I need to get through here. I am so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Pardon me. Pardon me. Thank you. Men stole my girlfriend. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Pardon me. That man right there. I think that's my girlfriend. <laughs> Look, Todd, I'm sorry. You two together? This is just like being hit by a semi all over again. <laughs> Todd, I thought you wanted me to go out with Natalie. I'm so, I thought you broke up with her. No, Nate, I was just on my way by to try to convince her to take me back when I looked in the window and I saw you two hold... Oh, God, this hurts so much. Todd, you'll find the right person. You just have to have everything I want, don't you, Nate? Marnie, Natalie... Well, why stop there? Why don't you just take my chair, Nate? Todd. No, come on. I want you to take my chair. Todd, excuse me. Can you come dump me out of this chair so I can give it to the guy who stole my girlfriend? Would you mind? Just come on. Just give me a little touch. Please. Would you mind? Just give... Todd, stop. Please. I don't want your chair. Look, I don't want this chair. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Excuse me. I guess there's nothing else to say, but congratulations, Nate. You win again. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Pardon me. Excuse me. Happy endings really only happen in the movies. You touched yourself 14 times. Damn, it's like I don't even know I'm doing it. Yeah, I know, but Bowie, there's gonna be a gymnasium full of kids. You gotta do it without your backup singer. Hey. He's not back yet. Oh, I know. At first I was worried, but I figured it all out. They go to the restaurant, 10 minutes of chit chat, half hour of Nate questions for the waiter. Eat, 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 talk, talk, talk. Seven minutes for him to tell her he's in love with me. She says, Marty's so pretty, I can't compete with that. <laughs> they hug like friends, 20 minutes for him to walk back, and he should be here right now. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. 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 Marty. Now. Marty. 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 You have absolutely nothing to worry about. That boy loves you. No. Why is this making me so crazy? Well, if it helps, you had a running start. <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> I'm just being ridiculous now. <laughs> Come on. I want you to go home and take a warm bath, okay? And chill. Because seriously, you got to get a hold of yourself. You, not so much. <laughs> Mm. 
Make? Well, what are you doing here? Did you decide to take some of my home furnishings, too? I have a fine new pot that I happen to love. Shall I wrap that up for you? Look, look, Todd. I'm sorry. I'm not into Natalie. I, I thought you were setting me up. You know, and Marnie made me... Look, it was just a huge misunderstanding. That's all. And I, I just wanted you to know that I... I'm sorry. I appreciate that, Nate. And you know what? Other than you having every advantage in life, we're not that different, you and me. <laughs> Can't we try and be friends? Uh, okay, sure. Todd, I'd, I'd like that. Come here. <laughs> oh, Nate. You know what? This calls for a drink. We must toast to our new friendship, bond as men do. Yeah. You know what? We should go to the local bar and toss back a couple of ice-cold pineapple mojitos. 